Hey guys, so I wanted to come back to you guys and give you a quick little update on my CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation uh, review. And in the last video, like I told you guys, I ended up mixing D15 and D40 to kind of make my perfect match. Um, it still wasn't perfect. And I'm going to tell you right now, this one right here still isn't completely perfect, but by the end of my whole foundation routine, it looked absolutely stunning, or you can tell right now, I feel kind of great, you know what I'm saying? Um, I ended up choosing the shade D50, and I do feel like it may be like a little bit red like I thought in the in the first video the initial um, swatching of it it was red but after it sat a little while and then it oxidized it was darn near perfect or like my perfect match but a little bit darker and you guys know how I feel about darker foundations so you guys know I thoroughly thoroughly love the way that it looked and it looks right now I put this foundation on at, um, I put it on at 5 o'clock, and here it is. It is now, focus, focus. It is now 9.45, and that is almost five hours. And if you don't know, I am from Louisiana, and I do live in Louisiana right now. It is humid as hell. It's 80 degrees outside, and it is humid. I was also just working um, a off-duty job in a gym with tons of 7th and 8th graders, and it was definitely, you know, like humid inside of the gym as well as hot because there wasn't really much air flowing through so of course it was really really hot and I do feel like this definitely stood up to you know not my real ex expectations I really didn't think like it would hold up as well as it did but I literally have not blotted I have not touched it I have not done anything since I left home I look like I look even better than when I let home uh, left home. I was a little bit more matte, and it wasn't a bad matte. It definitely wasn't a bad matte. Even even when I actually use the Becca Ever Matte Poreless Primer, that's what I use as well as setting the primer with some um, powder. You know, I was I was matte, but I wasn't like too like you know just cakey matte or anything like that. Now like it settled down. It looks. It looks it still looks like skin it feels like skin it 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 feels so super soft it feels like there's nothing on whatsoever I'm gonna tell you guys like I am legit very surprised at this um and now I'm feeling you know better than what I felt like in the first video I thought because there wasn't um uh, enough colors um that I felt like I, I really just truly didn't have my perfect match or a good match for myself and now I do and then the second thing is okay this is gonna get like really really crazy really really weird for you guys or you know if you're like me you really don't like to get your hands dirty and you kind of keep a paper towel or some wipes or something something around you so you can keep like constantly wiping your hands because other than that it gets on everything I'm that type of person. I have paper towels. I have wipes. I have Clorox wipes. I have some of everything. I'm not going to tell you like I'm a clean person, but I like to keep my hands clean. I really don't like to have too much on my hands. So, when I tell you the way that I applied my foundation was to take my, this would be my FU finger. I literally took my FU finger and I blended out the foundation all over my face. And I did use, um, two pumps to do my whole entire face with my hand then I went back with my beauty blender and dapped it over like a look my dark spot that was over here which I mentioned in the first video I did go over it with a little bit more with the beauty blender and also blended everything out but I did use two pumps to do my entire face with my finger I'm literally telling you I used my finger to blend it out and that in my opinion gave me that medium coverage it's still not full coverage you guys still not full coverage but it gave me that medium to full coverage look that I want or that I like so I can definitely say like okay I'm feeling a whole lot better about the coverage because at first it, it's just like 
no like it got better because of the other products that I use but by using my hand I got the coverage that I'm so used to having because using a beauty blender I didn't get the coverage I wanted using a brush I didn't get the coverage I wanted but weird enough Sandra Deluxe you know I just thought like okay Sandra Deluxe I always gets the coverage she wants she always uses her, her hands or whatever so I, I ended up using my fingers and I got the desired effect so I'm gonna give kudos to CoverGirl because I still ended up liking the foundation and I'm I'm really like like I said I feel like I look ten times better than what I look like when I left like it looks so super amazing I have got nothing but compliments at the little seventh grade eighth grade dance by the teachers and the moms or whatever like it looks so absolutely beautiful I absolutely love this I love it I love it I love it I love it and to be whatever cost is gonna be because it's gonna be drugstore it's cover girl so it's probably gonna be no more than ten dollars like I do think it's worth it I I do think it is worth it um I have not tried the transfer resistant part let me see let me see let me let me let me get something so I can wipe my hands on because like from the naked eye it doesn't look like there's anything on here but let me grab this wipe I'm gonna press it I'm not gonna press it where I have my highlighter or anything like that or like my contour because hey why why do that there's nothing like there's like a tint of something but there is not much like I can see it in the mirror but straight on I really can't tell but in the mirror because I'm holding it up to the light I can see like a tad bit of something but it's nothing like overwhelming like oh my god it transfers so much or anything like that it's definitely not transfer in bad whatsoever you guys I'm I keep looking at myself in this mirror because this looks so freaking amazing like I see what you did there y'all you, you proved me wrong you know what I'm saying and I do definitely want to tell you guys definitely give things a second chance I'm, I'm glad I did because this is literally like my third video of recording something for this foundation and the first one was like Ugh, no second one was like yeah we working on it and this one right here, even though I didn't give you guys a video of me applying or anything like that, I hope you can take my word. I do have um, D50 on, and this, come on, CoverGirl. You, you did your thing. You did your thing. I also want to say that I did use the CoverGirl um, concealer, which they don't have the names on it, but I do believe it was the darkest concealer that they had for the uh, Healthy Vitalist Collection. I use that um, with the Tarte to do my highlight and it actually helped hydrate it. So I feel like my under eyes look probably the, the best they've ever looked and don't look dry or cakey or anything like that. They didn't crease up bad or anything so I do like that as well. I just wanted to insert that. As usual I've been using that Katie Cat um, palette, the high cat one and the highlight in there, booming, booming, I mean booming like how could you not like it like your girl is glowing like I'm so happy and I want to thank CoverGirl like CoverGirl you guys are amazing I love you guys thank you so much for giving me this opportunity thank you for seeing this little small channel who has now 4k subscribers hey hey and so I'm gonna be having that giveaway pretty pretty soon I want to add a few more things but there's pretty much a lot of stuff in it but I do want to start working on that giveaway video for you guys so you know show my appreciation for you guys helping me get here you know the next goal is 5k of course um yeah you guys thank you guys so much for watching um this video subscribe to my channel if you haven't already like this video if you like me doing updates like this um and I'll see you guys in my next video. I don't want to jabber on too much more. But thank you guys so much. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Crazy. Why? Crazy.